thank you for uh, taking some time to talk with us at uh, metalnews.com. Right on. How's it going, man? Cool. <clears throat> uh, we're thrilled to have the Bass of Gorgoroth with us tonight and ex obituary. Oh. Um, so let's start off with the first question. Oh. Uh, you just recorded a new album, uh, Instinctuous Bestiality. How, how do you say Yeah, instinct, Instinctus Bestialis. Cool. <laughs> it's like the in instinct of the beast. Yeah, it's got a cool concept to it. The album <clears throat> has different meanings to it and whatnot, but uh, it just it sounds cool. It sounds evil. Yeah. Uh, it's, Infernus, our guitarist, came up with it. He's Gorgoroth. You know, he created the band, the name. He wrote a lot of the lyrics. So a lot of uh, what's going on, especially music-wise and uh, titles, a lot of it's been through him. But I've been with the band since 2007, so as time goes on, I'm yeah. going to start writing with them and everything. Yeah. But this album, it's been coming out really, really awesome. I just was in uh, Stockholm at the beginning of December and recorded all the bass, and I'm, I'm just blown away. Awesome. I was blown away because we've, we've been writing this album for about four years. And um, I just finally like started hearing the f final pieces of it and then adding the bass to it, which just blew me away. So yeah, it's, it's great. But people are going to love it. Cool, cool. We are excited. The fans are excited. So, uh, uh, can you reel a release date? To the we don't really have one. We don't have one in, in set in stone yet. We're probably looking at March, April okay. time is what we're looking at. How, it's how, just going to depend. How, how long we never like the, the record? Say that again? How long are you with the record? In the progress with the, with the record? The record's taken us about four years. <laughs> From writing it, it's been like in circulation. Yeah. We've just sat down and started physically recording it. Uh, probably the middle part of November. So it's taken about a month so far. Cool. We've been doing things. We took a lot of times on the drums. Um, the bass took like three days. The vocals took like three or four days. The guitars were very quick. I think Infernus did most of the guitars in one day. <laughs> awesome, man. One day. <laughs> yeah. But it took us time to get to the point, and now that it's all recorded, now we we're mixing it, and we want to take our time. We don't want to have, yeah. any, we don't have any label deadlines. We don't have any bullshit behind us. And we kind of like that, so it's it's real smooth sailing for us, and I'm really really happy with the with the end product. It's I, I I really really am behind it. The best playing I've ever done on an album, cool, hands down. Yeah. That's that's a lot playing from your side, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, playing on albums since uh, 90, 1990, my first album, so about twenty three years, and and this hands down the best playing I've done, and just the best ferocity. Behind a band, it was it's awesome. Oh, man. So let's take the next question. Uh, what is your favorite Gorgoroth track to play live? Well, probably Revelation of Doom, just because it's so heavy, and that's kind of the first one of the first songs I've heard from them back in the day. I heard, the first album I heard was Pentagram, but I, when I first time I ever heard Revelation of Doom, the beginning blast beat with that snare drum is just yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> But that's my favorite live. It's my favorite live. And then the heavy parts in it. And Unchained My Heart is definitely another. But I'd have to say, yeah, uh, for sure. <clears throat> so uh, on stage, uh, one of many bands who uses black metal makeup. Uh, how long does it take to put on before stage? Are you doing it yourself? Or you got uh, someone googies or some? Yeah. No, we, we do it ourselves. It's pretty much, you know, preparing for battle is what we kind of look at it like. Yeah. And it's usually like right before the support band or whoever's playing before us yeah. is about the time we get started. So it's whatever, maybe 45 minutes. It's kind of like a ritual as well. So we take our, just putting it on is not the whole part of it. You know, there's a lot of other things behind what, how everything goes down. But it's, um, it gets our minds prepped and ready. And then once everything's yeah. done and the, the lights go down and the band starts, I mean, that's just the best part of it all. Uh, your favorite track on the Qantas album from 2009? Satan Prometheus, definitely. Definitely Satan Prometheus. Awesome. But Euthanasia uh, is definitely a favorite. It's hard to say. I got a lot of favorites on there. But Satan Prometheus is is definitely my favorite. I love to play it live. Love to love to listen to it. Sweet. So uh, what bands are you listening to at the moment? Now, uh, it's different stuff. I'm kind of all over the place. I got kids, so I got music playing, what they're listening to, and my wife listens to top 10 radio, whatever, and that, and that. 
With metal, metal. I like this band uh, from from uh, Poland called Cultus de Gule. They're black metal band. Uh, you got, if you don't know them, you gotta find and check them out. Amazing, amazing. Their newest album is called uh, Hendane, H A N B A N E. They're on uh, Hell's Headbanger Records, I believe it's called. Cool. But really, really fantastic band. I, I'm also down uh, listening to a lot of Kraft, Swedish black. Metal band I listen to a lot of, and just overall music. Um, the last record I bought, I bought Ghost Face Killer, <laughs> <laughs> Wu Tang uh, Clan guy. I've been into Wu Tang for as long as I've been playing music. I've been into them. They're one of my all-time favorites that I've ever had. And he just put out a new record called Twelve Ways to Kill a First Kill a Man or Twelve Ways to Die or something like that. <laughs> really awesome album. I've been listening to that a lot. But in metal, Cult of the Ghoulets is probably the best thing I've heard in, in a long time. <clears throat> cool, man. Um, on tour, uh, your obelisk has a lot of fun. Uh, can you can you tell us a funny moment with the band? Yeah, yeah, a lot of funny moments. It's just um, usually losing somebody is, is the hard thing. Or going into an airport when, when some of us have not taken off all our corpse paint and you're like, you got paint all through <laughs> your hair. And you're getting on a plane. That happened to us once when we were going, uh, we were f- traveling through f- festivals in Europe and flying from one country to another. And it was just, it's hectic because you go to one country and then you fly right after the show. You get to the hotel, you sleep for an hour, you get back into the shuttle van, right back to the uh, airport to go to the next place. No sleep, you know, we drink a lot and everything. And then you look on yourself when you're looking in the mirror on the plane and you're just like covered in paint and <laughs> blood's on and stuff. And they stopped me. They stopped me in the security because I had blood all over my pants. They thought I cut myself. Oh, God. It's just like fake blood that I forgot to take off. So that's pretty funny, pretty funny stuff that we've seen. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I can imagine there's a lot of fun moments in, in a big band like yeah. our roof. So uh, also we're yeah, there, every- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've seen everything you can imagine. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, a lot of it's just experience that you have to be there to experience it, yeah. you know? <laughs> Couldn't even explain some of the shit that I've seen. <laughs> it's fun to hear what the, what the, the big guys in the metal scene has, has, has can remember of the funny things, you know? Uh, so, so there's a lot yeah, of yeah. fun stories I'm, I'm getting here, so it's so cool. Uh, yeah. Your, your upcoming European tour, uh, what are your expectations for the tour? And can you reveal any of the guest bands? Uh, so far, Vital Remains is going to be our support. Fuck yeah. So that's yeah, going to be a good good tour, man. Definitely a good tour. We're really excited for that. But um, we're going to do a lot of our new album, and that's going to be available definitely by this tour. It's supposed to start beginning of March, and we're trying to make it the longest Gorgoth tour ever. We've With my lineup, when I, since I've been in the band in 2007, the most we've done is maybe like 35 shows or so. We really want to do like a whole spectrum and just hit as much as possible. If if not, we're going to break it up into sections and yeah. do different areas like Scandinavia, you know, UK, Europe, Russia area, you know, yeah. Eastern European countries. But Up maybe Denmark, break it up. Man. Go to Denmark. <laughs> yeah, we definitely, definitely. It's, I've played uh, the Ruxkilde Festival years ago, the Vitory. Yeah. And I've been, I've been Denmark a lot. Uh, really cool. I've, I played there. I remember the last time I've been to Copenhagen or, or Denmark. We was uh, play, I played with a victory with the Gnostic Front. And uh, I think it was like 2008, 2009, I believe it was. But killer show, really killer show. Cool man. So, uh, anything you want to say to the fans before we end? Hopefully, we'll be in Denmark. And uh, but yeah. Be preparing for this record. I mean, it's it's gonna hit, blow your head off. I'm telling you. Cool, cool. We are all excited, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, the- so we thank Frank from Gorworth for having a free spare time to uh, conduct this interview with us, and uh, we have one thing to say to you: Have a brutal day, sir. You too, man. Have a brutal day. Uh-huh.